Hi, I'm Jonathan Banks, Executive Automotive Analyst at NADA Used Car Guide with this month's market update. The streak of new vehicle sales growth reached eight months in September as new vehicle sales jumped by 9% compared to last year to bring the year-to-date growth to 5%. September's seasonally adjusted annual rate of 16.3 million units represents the fifth month in a row with the SAR exceeding the 16 million unit mark and represents a much more realistic sales figure compared to the 17.4 million mark registered in August. Per auto data, incentive spending was on par with the previous month after averaging just $3,000 per unit, which was a whopping 20% higher than a year ago. On a prior year basis, September was the third consecutive month where incentives grew by double digits and the 20th straight month of increases overall. To date, incentive spending stands 9% higher than it was over the same period last year. Clearly, incentives are continuing to fuel new vehicle sales and have mitigated the effect of sales that may have been pulled forward into August from the robust deals last month. Even with the high discounts, new vehicle inventory climbed to 64 days in September, which was nine days greater than the prior month and up two days from a year ago, but not unreasonable from an industry perspective. Used vehicles depreciated at an above average rate for the third straight month in September as wholesale prices of vehicles up to eight years in age fell by 3.6% compared to August, well above the rough, roughly 3% decline average for the period over the last two years. Combined, the elevated rate of depreciation over the past three months resulted in the weakest third quarter for used prices observed since 2002. September's performance pulled NADA's seasonally adjusted used vehicle price index down to 121.4 from August 122.7, placing prices roughly on par with levels recorded over the first half of 2013. NADA believes that downward pressure from the new vehicle market, coupled with the increasing volumes of off-rental units, were primarily responsible for the softness in used prices in the third quarter. The seasonally adjusted new vehicle sales rate, which averaged 16.4 million units last quarter, was 2% more than uh, the second quarter's 16.5 million average and the highest quarterly SAR since the first quarter of 2006. While pent-up demand, a strong selection of eye-catching new models, and economic growth have predominantly spearheaded the recovery in new sales, manufacturer incentives have driven sales well above what would be considered natural demand. Following almost two years of moderate growth, auto data shows that manufacturer incentives jumped by an acute 18% on a prior year basis in the third quarter to a level last seen in mid-2005, excluding the recession. Last time incentives shot up by more than 18% in a quarter was over a decade ago when spending surged by 34% in the first quarter of 2004. The recent spike in incentives has undoubtedly diverted cross-shopper attention away from the used vehicles and over to new ones to the detriment of used vehicle prices. Higher volumes of 2013 and 2014 model year units at auction have placed additional pressure on used prices. Off rental units have increased the number of 2014 and 2013 model year vehicles sold at auction, with 2013 volume increasing by 4% and 2014 volume increasing by 29%. While it's typical for rental volume to increase heading into the fall, the combination of the new vehicle discounts coupled with late model, the increased late model use supply for some of the more heavily incentivized and high volume segments pulled prices down more than usual. To cite a specific example, depreciation in September was again severe for the compact car segment, with prices for these units dropping nearly 4%. Since May, used prices for the segment had fallen by an average of over 3% per month, which is the highest, one of the highest declines in the industry. Not surprisingly, incentives for these vehicles have experienced the largest increases this year at 20%. The downward pressure from new prices is coupled with the increases in supply. The number of 2014 model year compact cars sold at auction rose from 1,200 units in June to more than 4,000 units in September. Clearly, the combination of these two forces is a concern for used vehicle price performance. 
NADA has recognized similar risks in the midsize and intermediate compact segments where the new market incentives are putting downward pressure on an increasing volume of used vehicles entering the market. Prices for the big utility segments have finally showed some softness, with prices dropping 3.6% last month, which is the biggest drop recorded for the segment since late 2009. On the flip side, Pickups continued to do much better than their car counterparts and large SUVs last month as prices for large pickups dropped by only 2.2%, the smallest of any mainstream segment. This segment continues to be fueled by strong demand from improvements in the economy. As for luxury segments, prices of midsize and compact luxury cars fell by an average of just 2%. However, larger luxury cars didn't fare as well and prices declined by 3%. Depreciation for luxury compact and mid-size utilities was the smallest in the industry as prices fell by an average of only 1.6%. As for NADA's October outlook, the month historically marks one of the weakest months of the year for used vehicle prices, and this year is expected to be no different, especially given the above average losses witnessed over the past few months. At a market level, prices of vehicles up to eight years in age are expected to drop by 3.1 to 3.6% relative to September. Echoing September's forecast, losses are expected to be most severe for luxury car, luxury utility, and midsize vans. Subcompact, compact, and midsize car depreciation should continue to be above average as well. At the opposite end of the spectrum, Midsize and large pickups are expected to remain the industry's best performers, while depreciation for remaining segments should revolve around the industry average. Looking forward to the last two months of the year, depreciation is forecasted to slow down in November to about 2.5%, before decreasing to a rate of 1 to 1.5% in December. All of this hinges on strategies implemented by the manufacturers in upcoming months. NADA believes that a continued push for new vehicle sales will result in more extreme declines in used prices. This will cause a situation where prices will drop to levels well above these forecasts. The health of the used market has been a catalyst for driving new vehicle sales. The push for new sales well, be well beyond natural demand will erode a customer's equity position in their trade-in, creating a situation where a customer may choose to keep their vehicle or require manufacturers to raise incentives even further to facilitate a new vehicle purchase. These scenarios can be avoided if there is prudence in incentive spending during the course of the year to keep new vehicle transaction prices and payments at levels that enable used prices to grow. For additional market insight, please down download October's edition of Guidelines. Thanks for watching.